hey everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new so we're in the month of december so that means tons of winter and christmas designs and i cannot wait in this video i will be doing a winter glitter french ombre design using the lazy girl method one of my favorite methods to use and here i'm just showing you guys the nail tips that i'll be using for this video and now I'm just going to prep my nails with my Born Pretty Peel Off Base and cure that for 60 seconds. So for this winter design, I am going to be using some blue and silver glitter. And like I said before, I am doing the lazy girl method. And what that basically means is that I'm going to be taking full cover tips and placing the design. It's going to be an encapsulated design. So if you guys checked out my previous videos before, I show you how I do it. So, so simple and easy to do at home. Definitely recommend this method um, for my beginners. So I'm just going in with my base coat. And this hair is what's going to um, help me with the glitter. So I'm placing the base coat so that the glitter can stick into to uh, the nail and so I'm going to take my blue um, I thought the top was open but it wasn't so I just pulled on the pulled off the whole entire thing I was lazy <laughs> to take off that top part <laughs> but um, yes I'm going to be using this blue and silver and i'm gonna ombre the glitter so and i'm not gonna put it uh the silver all the way at towards the end so the blue is going to be um towards the middle of the nail and don't forget don't forget guys to empty out each color individually so that you can always save it so um, i have this little container here that is so easy to use when you're using glitter to put it back inside the container so you don't waste um, so much glitter and now i'm doing the silver and i'm just going to ombre that out with my brush and see i like the way that looks so that looks good i'm just patting it in making sure that it sticks and then one you don't want to do it too hard that it takes off the um glitter so i do put that in the light and cure it before i put on this builder gel so now to um do my i guess like gel x method i'm going to use the builder gel but while i was using the builder gel i wanted something more like to have a little bit more color to my natural nail bed so i decided to go in with my poly gel my mccart poly gel instead um the because this has more of a color to, color tint to it and it'll be easier to do my french design on it so that's what i'm using to um do my gel x method so i just wipe off all of the poly gel that spilled out and then i just place it in the light so now i'm just going to continue doing my lazy girl method and i don't know if you noticed but i've only placed the base coat or the base gel um from the f like from where the my natural nail meets to i didn't do it at the top and i didn't do it at the very end and that is because i wanted the blue um and silver to be the ombre and then ombre into clear too i don't know if that makes sense 
So if you can see my pinky nail here, yeah. So it's like blue, silver, and clear ombre. And that was the look that I was going for because I've seen so many like designs on Instagram doing it like that. Um, and I thought that was cool. It made me it made me think of like an icicle almost. I don't know. But um, so yeah, that's exactly the look that I'm going for. And I'm just doing it for um, doing this method for all of the nail tips. So this is how they look. That was super easy, guys. Like I said, I recommend this lazy girl method for all my beginners or people that, that are just doing their nails at home. It's super, super easy. Um, and look, look at how gorgeous this design looks already. So um, as usual, I'm just going in with my erica bit to file that cuticle area make sure that i get any of that excess gel off of my skin and off of the nail tip and then um, i'm going to file the sides and file um, around the nails and make sure that it's nice and smooth So once I'm done filing, I'm going to go in with Do Me A Favor by Nail Reserve Gel Polish. And this is the color that I'm going to use to make that French tip. So like I said, the reason that I used the poly gel was just so that it wouldn't um, be so hard for me to make the um, French tip with this gel polish. But... I forgot how good no reserve gel polish is and how pay, how how excuse me how opaque the nail gel uh the nail polish is. So look how good that you know this polish is going on top of that blue glitter like it's nothing. And um this is like I didn't even have to, you know, I honestly could have just use my peel off base that I always use to um glue on my tips like you know doing the gel x method I didn't even need to use the poly gel honestly but um yeah like I said one of my favorite gel 
gel polish lines is nail reserve they have such great consistency in their gel polishes and great um their polishes are always opaque so that is definitely one of my favorite um things about this company um yeah so like i said i'm am here just taking my liner brush and making some frenchies and you know i like my deep frenchies so i'm making some deep french um lines well deep french um yeah deep french design for all of the nail tips and honestly guys i thought this was like such an easy method um to do like usually you know how we always do the french first and then we'll do it from the bottom but you see how i'm doing it from the top um from the cuticle because i did my lazy girl method so um the glitter is at the bottom it's like in the opposite way normally than what um differently than you know how people usually or um girls nail techs do their uh french i kind of like this way better better i don't know it just seemed a little bit more easier for me to do it this way and then just clean it up but um yeah we'll see in the future i might do like my french designs this way and yeah <laughs> i know i'm just rambling right now sorry guys but um yeah just continue to watch me make my lovely lovely deep french tips Thank you. 
Now, once I'm all done with the French design, I am now going to take my Nail Reserve um, Top Coat and Top Coat all of the nails. And I am so, like, look how easy this design was. And it was super, it looks super, super cute. Nice and festive for the winter season and Christmas season too because, you know, blue, red, and silver, all these um, is uh, Christmas colors and winter colors. Um, I'm just loving this ombre. I love how it, it goes from blue to silver to clear. I just love, love that look. So um, after I place on this top coat, I do cure this for 60 seconds and then I come back and do underneath because I want to make sure that the glitter is sealed into the nail. And then also because it's a clear nail at the tips, I'm, I do want to make sure that it's clear as possible. So I am going to um, top coat the underneath part too. And um cure that for 60 seconds and this is the final look guys look how gorgeous these look oh my god so easy simple winter nails like french 
ombre glitter you get all of it i love it i love it i love it let me know what you guys think about these nails let me know if you guys like the lazy girl method and um thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any requests just let me know in my comments and i will see you guys next time <laughs>